Ooh, welcome back inside the Scrabanian Temple. Let me just take a moment and and yeah, let you right. tell you guys just appreciate the drinking water you have. So underrated. Anyways, <clears throat> Scrabs are fiercely territorial. The only thing they love more than snacking on slow-footed Madotkins is fighting each other. If you see one, run. If you see two of them, enjoy the show. Ooh. I just got a text from my wife. Anyways, Flintlock, our temples have grown dark since the Mugog Cartel. And yeah, yeah, fucked up that spacing, that pacing. Our temples have grown dark since the Mugog Cartel has enslaved the Madokins. You think I'd know how to say this? this? Is the exact same one as in, in Paramonia. Ignite the holy fires by throwing Flintlock levers whenever they are found. Only when all Flintlocks are fired will you be admitted to the temple's initiation ceremony. Anyways, the message was just her saying, oh, thank you for finding her sunglasses. Anyways, let's see, how many we got? One, two, three, four, five, can't count. Six, seven, eight, is that eight? Four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight. So let's try and do four. Okay, the four next week. Next week, tomorrow. But yeah, like I was saying, water, highly underrated. Get you guys some water, drink it, enjoy it, love it. I think I can go down there. I'm gonna try. Yes, okay, good. Get some rocks. I'd say already off to a good start. Now, like, the Paramonian Temples, one of these, excuse me, is going to have, what am I going to say, uh, a portal back into Rupture Farms to where I can rescue some of my friends. I think that's all there was, correct? Yes. I like the little background scrabs too, that's cool. Ta-da! Look at that one! One and done! Didn't even die, didn't even like, get tripped up on what I was supposed to do. Almost like I've played the game! Almost like I've made that joke before. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't, I don't know what's up. The uh, oh yeah, I know this. The recording is getting all goofy. <laughs> yeah. And when I say the recording is getting all goofy, um, sometimes, sometimes, you know, when I, I hit end record, it gets cut off, like, <sighs> it gets cut off, like, a couple minutes before I actually hit end, and I'm not sure what's going on, so, I'm trying to keep these relatively short in case I have to go back and redo it for whatever dumb reason. Please hit E. <laughs> this game is just lucky, it's fun. No, okay. Oh, I can't quite remember what's over to the left. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. The 
music just sets a, a, a tension. It's really well done. And it's and it's fairly close to the original original orchestra or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Hey oh! Score? Is that what it's called? The original score? Back in PlayStation 1 days? Get back over here. Just the rippling muscles. Ugh. Hey! If at first you don't succeed, keep on sucking until you do succeed. And sorry, that loud clicking was me opening my water bottle. Once again, water. It's good for you. It tastes great, too. When it does. And I don't know if anybody's talked talk about this, but... The way, I, the way you take in water, I think, really affects how water tastes. If you just drink it from like a bottle, for me, I mean, it'll get the job done, especially if you're super thirsty and you're hot and you want, you know, to replenish yourself. But it feels kind of weird. But if you got like the right kind of bottle, or like, you know, a drinking fountain, I think a drinking fountain hits different. That stuff's the best. And I think... <laughs> I think the absolute best is a camel pack. Cause it's like sucking on a titty, you know how it is? That's kid friendly, right? I don't know. I mean, even babies, you know, that's how they get their food, so that's kid friendly. Whatever. Oh, I remember this. Okay, he stops, but the far one doesn't. That's good to know. <laughs> Anyways, save it again. This, epi this episode brought to you by People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. I just love the, the hanging rock. Like, what purpose does it serve? Where do those roots come from? It, it looks weird, but it somehow works. Hmm. 
<sighs> Three down, one to go. For this episode. I do believe I would have died right there if something was chasing me. Now watch out for those bats. I'm gonna run over here and let's see what happens. Ah, bats! <laughs> I was really hoping I could grab onto that, uh... Platform thingy. <laughs> Elevator. Dumb waiter. I don't know. I'm the dumb waiter. <laughs> nope. Okay, I got an idea. Ew, he's munching on me. Grab this first, it's right here. Hmm. Hold the sneaky on you. Oh, there's a, a well right here. <laughs> that makes life easy. I don't think I can go over there. No. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, yeah, I can go over there. Can I go over that way? No, I cannot. Yeet! death. It says so. Later, nerd! I like how you can see the little scrab down there singing along to my chanting. I think, yeah, fun fact about, you know, the Scrabs, they enjoy our chanting. They'll dance to the tune. It's really quite adorable. Well, how about that? Four down, four to go. And that being said, this will be the end of the episode. As just with the beginning, drink water. It's good for you. This episode brought to you by PETA. So, you know, people for the ethical treatment of animals. As you saw within the third temple section. I got a full nice rest. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. I will see you all tomorrow. I love you. Um, possibly two episodes will be uploaded because the last episode was so long it took forever to render. Anyway, you'll see two of them most likely. Uh, I love you. Thank you for joining me. And hopefully this all recorded. Goodbye. Subscribe if you'd like to. But goodbye. <laughs>